What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and talk once again about the check rain jailbreak. Most of you guys know still check rain, it doesn't work and there is no software can be run uh, to check rain jailbreak inside the Windows operating system. But the check rain working right now with the Mac OS, working with the Linux, but there is no software working with the Windows operating system. So in today's video, I'm about to show you guys how you can make a partition using a tool or a software and then you can run the check rain without need for any kind of tool. You don't need USB, you don't need any kind of flash drive or portable or something like that. You don't need anything. The only thing that you need to do is just using your PC or your laptop computer. Most of you guys know that the Checknex website, the Boot Rain website make you to run the uh, Check Rain in your Windows operating system, but you need to use the USB flash drive in order to make Check Rain working in your operating system and I'm talking here about Windows but as I told you guys for that method that I'm about to show you guys right now you don't need anything okay let me show you guys how easy and simple that is heading to that software right now here link will be in the description down below this is the unit button so you need to download this one you might see right now here that the software is available for the Windows Linux Mac OS the one that we need and that we're looking for right now for that video is to download that software for the Windows. Go ahead and download this one and once you're done, you will be find something looks like that. This is the icon of that software. So once you're done, the other thing that you need to download, it is you need to bring the IPA file for the check range. So that is more than website. Like for example, you can use the same one that we uh, received already with Checknex website, the same IPA file that Bootrain. Also, there is a one that I will be link in the description down below. There is a Checkrain profile. This is the last version that I already download, which is the 10.1. This is the last version that look at the disco or the Checkrain team release and you can download this one right away from the description so what you need to do right now just go ahead and double click on the software. press on yes and this is what the uh, software came with go ahead right now and uh, click on the file that I already provide you guys in the description down below. This is gonna be the Checkrain IPA file. Go ahead and click on it and click on open. You guys can take a look right now. This is the file here. Now you need to navigate to the drive here and click on it and choose the drive disk from in there. So this is right away will be change everything to the C and you need to set up this one with a C. You want to set up this one with different kind of file. This method, it's not gonna hurt or make any kind of mistake with other files that you running in your operating system. As I told you guys, go ahead and choose the hard disk first of all. This will be change that to the C file here. The only thing left is just click on OK here. So right now, sit back and relax and we will be waiting until that download or the installing will be done. It didn't take that long time. It might just like a couple of minutes and for sure this is going to be for depends on the operating system, depends on the processing that you have in your computer. But for me, it's not going to be take more than like a minute or pretty much is going to be take up to like a couple of minutes and you will be done. So let's just wait a little bit. I'm not going to be cut the video to make sure you guys going to be understand everything while you guys watching that video. As I told you guys for that method, you don't need to use any kind of tool or USB or flash drive or something like that. You guys can see right now we are almost done. So once everything is done, you guys can take a look. Right now you need to reboot your device and select the, the uh, unit uh, button uh, from the menu. And I'm about to show you guys how is that will be looks like. So click on exit here 
and you need to go ahead right now and navigate to the start menu here go to your power and click on restart let me go ahead right now and switch my camera and get back to you guys okay so i'm about to restart my computer right now as i told you guys going to the start and choose the power and let me just choose the power and tap on restart so i'm about to restart my computer right now you don't need to press on any kind of key right now just see how is simple is that so let's just wait a little bit to restart my computer and once it just got back you guys can see right now what is the difference and are we actually created a portable section right now is it working let me show you guys right now while we waiting when the uh, restart is done Okay, so you guys can see right now here that you can choose one of the operating systems. So we have the default, it is the Windows 10. And the other one, you can use your arrow key if you want to go down and use the unit putting from in there. All what you need to do, as I told you guys, use your arrow key here and just choose the unit putting and just tap on enter. Okay, so you can take a look right now here at the top that we have the skip key. So you need to click on the skip key here. Right now we have one of the options. Just go ahead and choose the first option will be the unit button and just click on enter. That's it. Just give it a time a little bit until everything will be done. You don't need to use anything. You don't need to play with anything. The process will be take between one to like couple of minutes and once everything will be done check crane will be working right away and as I told you guys there is no USB needed for that a process or that method there is no flash drive there is nothing the only thing is just running that software created that uh, partition and from now on you can use check crane from your windows right away just like that simple as that so as i told you guys let's just wait a little bit the process will be take from like one into like couple of minutes and let's just wait right now as i told you guys the process or the method it is really smooth and simple
Okay, so you guys can see right now that check rain is just running right now and this is how simple and easy that is to show when you guys if this is can be worked just take a look here this is one of the phones here let me just use my USB cable here if let's see if it's actually uh, find my iPhone and then you guys can take a look I use my 5s here and the check rain is already detected that one of the uh, phones it's connected already so this is how simple is that to running the check rain jailbreak with your operating system once you want to jailbreak your device and you're done how you quit and you go back into the normal windows it's pretty simple just go ahead and using your arrow key and choose the quit here tap on enter at the bottom here just go ahead right now and type in reboot and just click on enter this will be reboot your uh, operating system and then you can go back to the normal windows just like that so let me show you guys right now that once my windows will be start as I told you guys once you make your portable section so you have right now your windows and you already set up the jcrane uh, section it is separated so this is how simple is that to work with check rain so you guys can see right now this is my windows here this is the one that I already created if I want to go to windows just tap on enter running your windows and you will be good to go right now okay so maybe one of you guys right now asking what about if check rain releasing a new version of check rain for example 10.2 or 10.3 how can i remove that uh, software that i already run which is the 10.1 and i want to upgrade to 10.2 or 10.3 it is pretty simple the same software which is the unit put in here if you go ahead right now and just double click on it permission and click on yes you can take a look right now here it says the unit put in it's currently installed so the, the one that you already installed it is already uh, installed if you want to remove the uh, exact one or the version that you run just go ahead and click on ok so you remove the one that you already installed and then you can download the new IPA and do the same method and you will be good to go with a new version so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you like the video make sure to give the video a big thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe hit that notification bell so you will be notified always whenever I release a new video catch you with the next one peace out